Hello everyone, it's Kelsey here. Welcome and welcome back to my channel, Budget Better Life, where I budget, cash stuff, and save for a less stressful, more enjoyable life. If that sounds great and you can relate, thank you for watching. Alrighty everyone, so today I have a really fun video. I am going to be working towards my goal of saving $10,000 and I've got some money set aside from reallocation that is gonna be going towards a couple different challenges. So let me open this up and we can take a look at the challenge I'm working on. Okay, so this is Budget with Ira's Save 6,000. I have his poster on my wall, but in order for me to film and check things off, I needed like a copy that I could mark on. So I got his digital download version and I'm thinking I can mark off on this and then after I've done everything at the end of the video, maybe I'll put in a little clip of me marking off on the actual poster. The other thing I have is his Save 4K Mega Bundle. So this bundle is basically if you go through all of these, you will save 4K. Look at that, I started it at one point and then I just didn't, <laughs> didn't keep going, okay. So um, 6K, 4K, that's 10K, right? So that's my plan. That's what I'm going to do. Um, a lot of people have been asking about the piggy bank, and I know that you guys really want the piggy bank again, but I want to be able to prop swap my money out and get it into high yield savings faster. I do plan on doing a piggy bank again, but maybe towards the later half of the year. My goal is to get this these two challenges accomplished before I bring in a new piggy bank. So that's my plan. Wish me luck on trying to save $10,000. And yeah, let's get out the money for this. So in my sinking funds binder, I had set this money aside from reallocation. Wow, I'm just throwing money. It's $511. So um, this is just a motivational bill. It's not any prop money or anything like that. Okay, so this $511 is what we're going to be working with today. So let's set this binder aside and let's set up this money. Well, we'll count it first. We've got 152, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 4, 10, 20, 30, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, 85, 95, 500, and 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Certainly is $511. So let's set the money up. Okay, so cash tray is set. Okay, so now that we have the cash trays set, we should get into rolling some dice. So the dice for this one are these dice here. And then for this one, I'm gonna use these. So let me set this, uh, actually, I probably will start with this. So this one came with dice. And honestly, I think it's like all these dice but I did get a new set from the advent calendar from Ira, and so I'm gonna use these, which it might be a little difficult to see. Oh no, don't run away. Okay, dice are rolling. Um, but yeah, I think I'm gonna use those for today, and then I'll use these for the 6K, so let's set those there for now. Okay, so I'm gonna set this one aside for now because I think I'm gonna start with the binder here, the save 4K. And I noticed that I had started this once before, so I already have some things marked off. And rather than like erase it, I think we should just go through and do whatever these marks say. So I've got a four and a one there for five. So why don't we put a five into this envelope, save 130, and that way it is tracked correctly. And then this one is a six and a four, so that's 10. I'm gonna just set this like that. Okay, so I've got 10 on this one, so let's do a 10 here. And then let's look at this one. All right, I've got four, four, and a five, so five plus eight. Okay, so this one is 13. So if I did a two, that would get me to 15. So why don't we do that? I swear we are actually gonna roll at some point here. I just wanna make these envelopes correct. So I've got five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So I'm doing a two 
and I'm putting 1015 into this envelope here, the save 226. All right, awesome. And then let's see what this one is. This one's a 10, easy enough. So we'll do a 10 in here. And let's see what the next one is. All right, I've got a three and a seven, so that's a 10 as well. Wow, did I like, did I even roll for these? <laughs> I don't know, we'll, we'll, we will roll, I promise. Okay, so seven and three for 10, that envelope's correct. Okay, so this one says 20, so a $20 going into the save for 90 envelope, beautiful. And is that say 90? Oh my gosh. So this one says 90, and I think, since I have this $100 bill right here, why don't I just mark off a 10, and that will be 100, and then I can pop this $100 bill down in, and that settles that one. Okay, so now that I've done that, everything that's marked off is correct. Obviously, the 6K doesn't have anything on the back, but this is the envelope for the save 6K. So now I say we flip back to the front and we roll, we do a roll on here with all of these dice and see what I get for all of these envelopes. All right, here we go. Okay, so the first one is this one right here and that one is a two. So let's mark a two and we need to do one, two, okay? And then this next one is the square dice, which I didn't even roll. So let's roll this die because that's the one that it wanted. All right, and I got a six. So let's do a six here. And I'm gonna go five, six. We'll set that in front of that one. And then this one is this die, I believe which is a six, yeah, because that goes up to eight, so that's a six. So let's mark a six there, and let's do five, six again. This one is this die, I believe, because it looks like it goes up to 10, and that is a 10 that I rolled, so we're gonna do a 10 right here, and I'm really hoping that I don't forget to mark or you know do anything wrong, but who knows? <laughs> All right, this one is this die right here because it goes up to 12 and I got a seven on this die. So let's do seven right there. And I gotta put the money, so five, six, seven. I'm gonna need more ones, but I do have my bank bag aside for change. Did I mark the seven? Yeah, I think I did. All right, so seven I put there. And then this one, I rolled a this is the 20-sided die, so I rolled a three on this one. So let's do the three and let's roll it again as well. So three plus eight is 11. So let's do 11. So I got a three and I got an eight for 11. Let me get some ones. I owe it a dollar. All right, this is my bank bag and in here I have ones to make change. So let's go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So let's do $20 in. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Yep, we're going to do 20 ones for a $20 bill. And that way we've got some ones to work with. So pop that back in the bank bag. And I owe it a dollar, so that is correct now, my eight and my three, okay? And then this one is, I think this is this one, right? Yeah. Yeah, this is the percentile die. Okay, so it's on a nine, so does that mean 90? Because like, <laughs> my money is gonna be gone fast if that really means 90. I think it does mean 90. So let's go 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. So 50, 70, 90. All right, so that is a full round on the, and that's a 90 right there. That's a full round on the Mega Dice Bundle. Why don't we do a full round or two on the Save 6K, and then if we have more, we can come back to the 
bundle mega dice so let's do that i'm going to put my dice back and i might as well put actually i might as well just stuff the money into the envelope so i don't forget or it doesn't like fall out and then we can switch over to the 6k and see how we do on there so let's drop all the money in perfect couple more this is fun this is i i'm so excited because like i did the piggy bank for so long and i loved it but like this is different and this is new and it's a really fun goal and i i can easily go in and swap it and get it into the high yield if i needed to so i'm just super excited oops pull that out <laughs> Okay, so now we've got the 6K savings challenge and here are all the dice for this. So I'm so excited for this. Oh, this is so exciting. Okay, so let's roll them all and see what I get. <gasps> One's rolling away. All right, so this one was a three. So I have, I got a mark and add. So this is 10. This is 12. So 22, 23. So let's do 20, one, two, three. And I'm gonna mark over here. I've got two fives, two threes, one six, and one one. Okay, let's do it again. All right, so I got five six twos threes more twos okay i am not going to continue to do math in my head right now i feel like i just want to use my calculator and make sure i've got things right and uh that should be twenty dollars so let's mark them off i got a five i got a six i got one three and two twos uh, i'm sorry three twos so one two three twos and that's 20 so let's put a 20 and let's go again all right so i got sixes fives a four and a three okay so i got 12 plus 10 plus 4 plus 3 equals 29 so let's go 20, 30 in a dollar back. And that's my 29 in. Now let's mark them off. One, two sixes, one, two fives, one four, and one three. Okay, these are so small, but I think I'm doing the correct marking so far. All right, so I want to drop this into the envelope and go back to um yeah let's go back to the other binder and do another round on that since i have 50 60 70 i mean i probably could get to 90 if i did happen to roll a 90 on that one so let's set those there for now open up the binder and let's pop this money into the 6k perfect and let's grab out the dice for this one. All right, this binder, the binder doesn't like to stay <laughs> put. All right, so here's the dice. Let's roll those all again. And I gotta roll this one too. Okay, perfect. So now let's go back to the front and see what we got. Okay, so this one, I got a three. So let's go one, two, three. Put the money in the front and mark off a three and then this one I got a four so let's mark off a four and let's go one two three four put the money in the front and then this one I got an eight so let's mark off an eight and we'll go five six seven eight so five, six, seven, eight there. And then this one is the percentile and I got a five, so I got a 50. So we'll do 50 into this one. So five for fifth, wait, is it? Oh, that's not the percentile die. 
that's just a normal, normal die. Okay, sorry, the 50 is out, a five is in. So this is actually just a five. So a five. Then we go to the next one, which is this one, and I got an eight. So let's do eight and put five, six, seven, eight in here. And then let's look at this one. Okay, this is a 20 sided. The 20 sided, I got a six. So let's mark a six. Let's go five, six here. Okay, and then this one should be the percentile. So there's my 50 and there's my 50 and my 50 goes to that one. Okay, so we did another full round of that and I've got 20 um, and some fives and some ones left. So I say we take out the percentile die and we just roll all of these one more time and see what, what I get. So let's go for it. Okay, so on the first one here, I got a one. So let's mark a one and put a dollar. On this next one here, I got a two. So let's mark a two and we'll go one, two dollars. And on this one here, hold on, I flipped an envelope. All right, on this one here, I got a, it's this one, I got a seven. I'm pretty sure there was a seven before I flipped it. Yeah, it was. Okay, so five, um, 10, and then I can take three back. One, two, three back, and that gives me my seven. So let's just make sure I marked my seven because I don't think I did. Seven. And then on this one here, I got a three. So this one's a three. And let's go one, two, three. Perfect. Let's see what we got on this one. On this one, I got a five. So five, five. And I need to put a five. And then on this one, which is my 20 sided die, I got an 11. So let's go five, 10. And I say I just round up to a 15 just to make my life easier. I'm gonna do 15 instead. So let's go 15. And then since I didn't roll the percentile die again, why don't I just mark off a 20? That finishes up that last bill. I've got my 20 marked off and I've gone through all of the money. It's been, you know, rolled and played and put into this Mega Dice Bundle Challenge and the 6K. This was so much fun. Um, but now I need to stuff the money in. So don't let me forget to do that. Should we go through really quickly and see what each envelope got? So the save 130 got five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven dollars, which is awesome. Let's put that there. Then the save 178 got 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, one, two, $22, which is awesome. Put that down in there. And then the save 226 got 5, 10, 15 plus what's in here. Hold on. So got 10, 15, 25, 35, 36 dollars in the save 226, which is awesome. Okay. And then the save 294 got. 10, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28 dollars. Awesome. And the save 322 got, got 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30 dollars. Perfect. And then the save 490 got a little bit more, which is good. So 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, one, two, 52 in the save 490, which is awesome. Okay. 
And then the Save 2360 got a good amount of money here. 100, 200, 20, 40, 60, 260 towards a $2,360 goal. That's pretty good. All right, and then the Save 6K. Let's see how much the Save 6K got. Pretty good amount. 20, 40, 60, 70, 71, 72. That's awesome. Okay, so now all I need to do is run over to my poster and mark off all of my rolls on my Save 6K. So sorry, guys, that you absolutely cannot see what I'm doing in this video, but you've got a great view of my dog hair covered sweatshirt arm. Um, I will try to do better for next time I film. I'll have to figure out a different situation. But yeah, I marked everything off on my poster and there it is. And that is all I have for you guys today. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you guys are on board with my new challenge of trying to save 10K in this way instead of the piggy bank. And yeah, if you guys haven't subscribed already, definitely hit subscribe. You guys are gonna wanna know if I reach this goal or not. So don't forget to do that. But that's gonna be it for today's video. And other than that, I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.